Hey you guys, I'm back again. I'm here to show you um, one of my best creations that I've done to date. This is an update to what I have done. And I am showing it off finally today. This is a painting that has taken me a tremendous amount of time and I am very proud of. It is a bird um, that you guys probably haven't, probably have figured it out already. This is a peacock. I titled Imperial Peacock. This particular painting took me roughly six to seven months to do this painting here and a lot of rebuffs a lot of time was taken to it a lot of consideration if you look very closely there you'll see the gold wire along the the eye of the peacock as you can see there a lot of notable detail is in has gone into this painting everything you see zoom it back A lot of brush strokes. This painting is known as the Imperial Peacock. It took me roughly seven months like I just explained. <laughs> but um, this guy is full of color and one of the challenges I had doing this painting when I initially did it, I didn't want it to look like a regular peacock. I wanted it to have a balance of positive and negative space. This side with the watercolor being the, the positive space and this side with the, water, uh, the oil paint being the negative space. So it was a balance for me basically getting the positive and negative space to just basically just work into each other. This is a full blown sculpture here that you see before your eyes um, where I literally have eyes <laughs> but um, a lot of work went into this a lot of clay wire well mostly not clay I would say wire I would say cardboard tin foil um, jewelry a lot of different things this is supposed to be the grand master of my six paintings that I've done that I'm showing off to you guys but this by far is the most impressive peacock that I think that has ever been made. Um, I know that's probably a really bold claim, but this isn't just a painting, it's a physical sculpture. So I'm going to do a second one with the um, white pea file, the white peacock. It's another impressive bird that's in the same species, but it's a different color. And um, I did a lot of, what I've noticed is, I've talked about this in my last video, I've been doing a lot of folding of paper in my works here. So this is just folded canvas paper is what, what this is here. But I fold it in such a dynamic way where it actually makes sense, at least it does to me as the artist. And you see some of the side detail there. This painting is extremely detailed. It took me so long to get everything in the form everything in the um, one of these this these alone took me I would say about a month to do these and just get them in the right form you know I started out with watercolor then I went to watercolor to acrylic and um, I added a lot of gold in it to notice imperialism so that's basically why I call this um, this particular piece, the Imperial Peacock, because it's supposed to be the Grand Masters of all of the peacocks, and I thought that would be like a really good idea to like name it that, um, because its um, its temperature and how it's made, its transition of color and light and just everything just really just stands out about it, especially this side. When I started doing it, I said to myself. 
I don't want to make a conventional peacock. Conventional art is beautiful, but to me, it's boring. When you push yourself to think outside the box. And one more thing, by the way, to note that this is on a butterfly canvas. Now, one of the most impressive things that I have about this work is that this isn't just a regular canvas here that I that you see before you. This canvas here actually folds in half. So by lifting it up, you can kind of see it open up a little bit. So I made the work a little bit more like streamlined and easy to carry around versus having just a big canvas to like move. And I thought, when I thought of it, it worked perfectly because the butterfly folds itself and flaps its wings. So, ah, man, that's just, I'm so proud of this work and all the vivid detail that has gone into it, into making such a piece that took a huge undertaking um, by my hands of many sleepless nights and days of getting every single detail, every single line you see here. It's taken me a tremendous amount of time to do this and just get it in such a streamlined way where it actually works. I mean, this is the first time I'm probably showing off these um, details. For you guys that don't know, who, know me, who I am, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, um, ADS and Presto Art. Because most of my uh, videos are going up on my YouTube channel. I have a few subscribers, but I'm going to get some more. going to grow a user base here. But, um, yeah, a lot of work has gone into this thing. Zoom in for you guys. That's where the wire and everything is gone. The eyes. So the eyes are literally looking at you because people have always noted that the peacock has looks as if it has eyes on those feathers. So I figured that would be an ingenious way to like note that I guess. But um, I have the gold trim up here. I have a lot of different things that has gone into this work. Gold down there. And these are actually bits of clay here. As you can see, I colored them individually with watercolor and here if you take a good closer look you can see that the oil is sort of going underneath if you can take a look but um other than that guys this is it and bye